watching Jack Drones. I'm in Jack Drones. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about the firmware upgrade for the Phantom 3 Pro in advance. And it's also exactly the same for the Inspire as well. So that the, even the instructions tell you on the DJI website, they're the exact same process. So for purposes of this video, we're going to look at the Phantom. So go to the DJI.com website, very straightforward. Click on Phantom, scroll down to the version you've got, and then scroll across to Downloads. Same with Inspire, so straightforward. Before you start, check the release notes because sometimes there are special instructions in there of actually how to apply the firmware. If there's nothing there to say about the firmware, then it's obviously the same process as before. This shows the version you're going to upgrade to, the DJI Go app on the Android version, and obviously what's new uh, on the update. Now, this is very important to do this in the right way around because this one actually shows the encryption enhanced and security during transmissions. This is very important you do it the right way around. But I always tend to do it this way around because it's the sort of same process I use on all the updates. So straightforward. So go back here. If you're not sure about how to do the updates, you can then read this one called How, how to up Update the Firmware. So click on PDF. And this PDF will actually cover all the Phantom ranges. So it co cover the Phantom 3 standard. Tells you how to do that. And it covers the, the Inspire 1 Pro, the Inspire 1, Phantom 3 Pro, and the Phantom 3 Advance. All the same instructions. You can use this to follow it through, it'll take you through step by step and also show you the way of doing it through the app as well as the normal manual way of installing it. Now, this this on this firmware, right, so let's go back to the firmware now. Download the firmware, click on it. On a Mac, it'll download and it'll unzip it automatically for you. On a PC, you'll have to unzip the uh, file itself. Once it's download completed, as you can see, once you unzipped it, this is the file you get. And then obviously this is the version number, so if it's a P3S, the Inspire will say something different there. Like FW for firmware, then the version and .bim, straightforward. Now take your SD card out of your uh, Phantom or your Inspire, stick it in an SD card reader, and plug that into your Mac or PC. Now, <clears throat> if you've already been in your bird and you've done some flying and you've got some files on there, copy your files off onto your PC or Mac so they're off the SD card. If you haven't thrown it and the SD card is empty, you've got no, nothing on there, then delete anything on there so it's completely blank, like as you can see on the screen here. It's completely empty. There's no folders, there's no there's no um, files at all, it's completely blank. Now, copy and, pa copy and paste the file over on a Mac, you can drop and drag it. So make sure it copies across. Check the dates, check the file size to make sure they are exactly the same as the download. Let me know it's definitely not corrupted. And it's working, so it should be about 62.6 megabytes. Nice and easy, that's the straight part. Now, eject your SD card and go and put it into your Phantom or put it back into your Inspire. Now, this, this is straightforward. Once it's actually installed back into the camera, so on the Phantom Pro, I think it's actually installed in, in the camera. Phantom Advance is above the camera. On the Inspire, it's in the camera. Plug it in. Make sure your remote controller is switched off. Turn on your Phantom or your Inspire, and it'll go into the, it'll start going into the firmware. It'll start going bleep 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 noises. That's the firmware working and it's and it's running. Leave it be. Go off. Make yourself a cup of coffee. Straightforward. It could take anything up to ten minutes to a good half an hour before it's finished. Come back. Now listen to the bleeps very carefully. If it goes bleep 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 bleep. That means it's completed. And then power off your Inspire or your Phantom and take your SD card out, put it back into your PC or Mac and open that up and you'll find it saves a text file. This is important. Double click on your text file, read, open up and read it. And inside there it'll show, scroll down all the little lines, the little bits of text it puts in there and look for the word successful or fail. Okay, if it's failed, do the process again, bin file back onto it, put it back into your Inspire or your Phantom and run the process again and then again, once it's finished, turn it off, check the text file to see if it's successful. If it's successful, then you're done great. Then the, set, the other way you can manually update your um, thing, well, if I show you the PDF file itself on here, it gets all online for you to read. And there's, there's another way of doing this. So this is tells you bleep, bleep, bleep is successful. Okay, and then you've got like a bleep, bleep noise or bleep says fail, okay. And normally you can indicate with a little light like shows on here, a little green light above your camera. Uh, it'll go with different colors to show you where it's successful or completed. Um, but once you've got that completed, 
Uh, two ways of doing the up remote controller itself is either power your Phantom or your Spyro up, connect your controller up, as you normally do when you really go and fly, and when the app loads and it goes up and you click in to go into your camera settings, it will show up on a status, like it will say uh, the RFC needs updating, tap on it, follow the screen instructions, and it will download the update through your uh, remote controller. Once it's completed, it will ask you to reboot your remote controller. And again, on the remote controller light, it will be green. And if we just scroll down here, it shows you. Start off being like blue, when it's finished, it will go green. If the remote controller has failed, it will go from blue to red. So again, you do some power it off, switch it back on again, rerun it till it goes green. If after like two or three attempts you're trying to do this, on that, whether it's the Phantom Inspire or whether it's on the remote controller, you have fail, then obviously then contact DJI and then explain what's happened and they'll take you through some other process that I'm not aware of at the moment of what you can do or whether it's they might say you might have to send it back. Okay, so if it's if it's failed quite a few times and you try to firm up there quite a few times, three or four times and still it's the same failed, then you definitely need to speak with DJI because they'll be able to say well, we need to send it into repair because it could be more than just a firm upgrade, it could be an actual hardware fault itself. Now the manual way of um, doing your uh, our remote controller is again copying the file on the bin file, put it put it onto an SD card, plug that in the back of your remote controller and do the same thing, turn it on, make sure the Phantom or the Inspire is turned off at the time, turn it on, go into firmware update, and then it completes. If there's no update on the bin file on the bin file included for a remote controller update, <coughs> it will not actually do anything, it'll just power the remote controller and it'll just ignore it. Um, but if there is one Again, if you read the, the release notes, it'll tell you whether there's an update for the controller or not. And also, you know by when you switch your remote controller on and connect it to your Phantom or Inspire, it'll show you there you need an up update on it. Please remember, when you do these firmware upgrades, you need to do it for every battery you have because of the firmware will upgrade the battery itself. So if you've got four batteries, you've got to do it four times. If you've got 12 batteries, you've got to do this thing 12 times. All right? So all your smart batteries are done. <clears throat> Don't miss a, a firmware update. Make sure you apply all firmwares. I've played every firmware that's been released so far DJI, I've not had any issues whatsoever with a firmware. I always apply firmware, I always test it the next day to make sure it's flying, looks okay in the air. If it does, fantastic. Again, not any problems. I hear a lot of people have flyaways. I ignore them because I just literally just go for process, don't have any issues with them at all. If you're a bit worried about that, tether your aircraft to the ground. Get a five meter cable, it's nice and strong. Strap it to the ground so it's not going to be pulled out, it's, it, or even just tie it around your ankles or something. You know, so, and then tie the other end to your Phantom or Inspire. I should say tie it something safely, not to yourself. Um, so when you hover it, it's got like a five meter slack of cable, and you can fly it, hover it around, and do it for a good 10 minutes or so, because within 10 minutes, if it's not flown away, then you know you, you there's nothing wrong with the firmware upgrade itself. If it does decide to fly away, at least the cables tethered to it so you can actually put it down, rescue it without actually causing any problems or harm or damage to the aircraft or to yourself or to, some, or to somebody else. That's my, my way. I was going to actually show you how to tether one, but it's quite straightforward. You just tie it to a peg in the ground, get an old camping peg, nice strong, bang it into the ground so it's solid in there, tether it to that, again, give it a good five meters, but don't fly any above five meters, fly about four meters, keep it hovering in a hovering position for 10 minutes. If it's not going to go anywhere, it doesn't look strange, or it's going to be wonky, or it's decided it's going to go off one direction, you know, then you, you're good to go. That's my, my ideal. So I'll leave you to that. So it's nice, straight, nice and easy, it's straightforward, and um, yeah, successful. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all new subscribers. Competition kind of come up very soon, so watch out for a new page or come later. I'm going to do a video to talk to you about the competition because I'm doing a competition slightly different ways now. So hopefully I'll explain it on a video rather than trying to explain it on a page. Then we'll make it all go live and we'll get some stuff. So you could win a Phantom 4 coming up very soon. So keep watching this channel, keep subscribing, and see you soon, guys. Cheers.